I'll ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. And I really do mean like, share, and subscribe. I very much need your help. Listen. I've been kicked in the balls quite a few times over the last uh, uh, eight days. Let me tell you. Well, not, you know, metaphorically, obviously. Not physically. Picked, picked in the balls by the good Lord. Well, that's just the way I'm looking at it. I'm a crazy religious Bible-thumping guy. And when hardships come, you know, uh, uh, one after another, you ask, you always ask, well, what, what's going on? What hardships? What hardships, you may ask? Well, uh, um, straight after the first night of Passover, I, I, I trot downstairs to my office, you know, humming happily to myself, springtime, fire. I wasn't listening to that. Anyway, uh, uh, and I come and I find my computer, like, trying to reboot, and it's been trying to reboot for hours and it's not rebooting and it's not looking good. So I then spend the next few days uh, desperately trying to recover the computer, and after that, I'm recording this video on it right now, right? So I record, but I can't run Photoshop. Uh, at least I haven't tried recently. Uh, I could do, uh, you know, some stuff, but like really, generally speaking, it, it's knackered, right? It's knackered. I need to get a new computer, right? So okay, that's the first thing. So then a week later, I trot downstairs after Sabbath. Dum, that was yesterday. Dum, 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 springtime for anyway, and, and I find that my uh, my YouTube account has been taken offline for a week for hate speech. Now I, that kind of irritates me because I don't think I did that. I don't think I did that. There is a video that they flagged. It was uh, the Doctor Who news sphere. I'm, it's also on Rumble, right? Go, go please subscribe to me over at Rumble. Uh, uh, it's, it's still up there on Rumble. I think the issue was there was a talk radio show discussing if it's appropriate to sexualize Doctor Who, it being aimed at children. I thought a reasonably, you know, a, a, a reasonable thing to, to ask, given, you know, the, the sexualization of children going on in general in society, particularly by a very, very large multinational corporation. However, that very large not multinational corporation recently had its ass handed to it by uh, uh, a governor of, of just one state that's fighting back, right? Governor of one state, and they massively had their ass handed to them. So I think the two things are somewhat inter in, uh, 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 interconnected that that's my that's my humbly but anyway i would i'm i'm appealing to you even though i i understand i'm often unappealing i am appealing to you uh, uh if you can help me out if you can if you can go and sub to my uh my, the channel you're watching this on yeah all 12 of you if i'm lucky and i'm not even joking all 12 of you if i'm lucky why am i still doing it i, I you know i just don't feel like giving in that's really why i on it and i know very few people are going to watch this video uh, uh uh why would i i just don't want to give in actually the real reason that i'm i'm, I'm keeping doing this because i'm doing this religious series uh called connecting to the infinite and if you're a person of faith it's a 49 day uh program on how to like supercharge your faith uh, supercharge your connection to god on, on a real massive level and if you don't believe in god might not be for you right might not be for you but here's the wibbly wobbly weird way i look at them because i am i'm a bible thumb i really am and that doesn't mean i hate you <laughs> okay whatever whatever identity you are i right, live and let live baby that's really who i am uh, uh, um but uh, uh, I, you know, I view it as uh, either God is punishing you, and I've thought about it, and I don't think I've done anything that bad. I mean, everybody sins. Everybody sins. Don't get anybody says he is without sin. Uh, 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 cast the first stone at that person. That would be my advice. Uh, uh, yeah, I would recommend it. Uh, 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 don't, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. That was a joke. Uh, 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 no, everybody says. Well, I don't really think I've done. I try. I try to be a good boy. Generally speaking, I'm a naughty boy, but I like to be a good boy as well. You know, I really, it really, really uh, uh, resonated with me. Where one of Capaldi's last lines is always try and be good, but never fail to be kind, and that's really what I try and live by, right? And, and I think it's that's why I loved uh, uh, Capaldi's Doctor. Uh, they just had these great lines coming you know, coming out of him, wonderfully delivered. But. Uh, um, uh, yeah, so uh, uh, so I don't think it's that. I think it's more that the evil satanic forces that that are, are abroad in the world do not want that series to go out, that religious series to go out, and they are putting everything in the way to stop them. Uh, uh, so you know, if I if I feel like I'm being being pushed back against, I do push back. You know, I push against, I do push back. That is me. That's my person. Oh yeah. So anyway, I've got my. So then this morning, I went to order my new computer. Right, and, and I was I, I was looking at it. I was like, okay, that's the one I want. Fire new iMac. They look really neat, really swanky and nice. There's a new chip that Apple developed. I'm like, okay, this sounds good. Right. Uh, went to order it. Forty five days. I'm like, no, no. There is. 
No freaking way. Okay, no freaking way. So it turns out they have to be built by Apple and then shipped to you. I, I got one with specs slightly different than I'm planning, okay? And it actually worked out a bit cheaper. But now, okay, stress beyond stress beyond stress. My wife wants to put it on a certain credit card because they get miles for it. I, I, not that she's going anywhere, but that's the matter, right? Stress beyond. So uh, uh, I, 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 um, I give her the number of the salesperson in the, in the store, right? She, and, yeah, I, when I called, it took me 40 minutes to get through, right? 40 minutes. That, this is Israel's customer service for you. Not, you're not in America anymore. You're not in Kansas anymore, Toto. Uh, 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 so, what, so finally got through, uh, and uh, so I sorted out everything. I, I, I got the number of the sales rep. I gave it to my wife. She called. Hasn't called back yet. I'm like, it's the last one in the country. I mean, really, really. I mean, how much more of a stress fest can, can you have? So anyway, I, I'm asking if you could hit the like button, that'd be really helpful. Wherever you are, if you're on YouTube, if you're on Rumble, if you can subscribe to the to this channel if you haven't done so, if you can just subscribe over on Rumble, if you can subscribe to my Substack, that's the next thing I would do. I've got to send out uh, uh, messages on Substack so I, so people know what, what, you know what's going on with me. Uh, um, so yeah, like a sharing. Oh my god, sharing is so helpful, right? I'm really grateful. I generally speaking, share this wherever you can. Thank you very much. Subscribe, as I said. Like, comment. Oh god, the algorithm loves your comments. It it does it, it does good for me. It does good for me. And I think I might be streaming on again my my, my second YouTube channel, but also I think on Rumble uh, uh, tomorrow, which will be. Uh, Monday the 25th, oh, uh, Monday 25th, we're going to stream on Monday and Tuesday and Thursday, I think. That's the plan. That is the plan as it stands right now. Like, share, subscribe, comment, Substack, all those things are good. If you, you want to throw me a couple of bucks, uh, a box, uh, you want to throw me a couple of bucks either. You want to throw me a couple of bucks, sign up to my paid Substack. Uh, uh, I really have not much more for you. Actually, no, I am going to put that something on that. I know what I'm talking about about the other day. Uh, um, that would be great. Thank you very much. I've been a little bit distracted from my life freaking imploding before my eyes, which has been uh, what's been going on. As I said, those evil satanic forces do not want me making videos. So that's why I think you should like, sketch, share, and subscribe. Fine. With that said, uh, uh, let's look at the Doctor Who news. And there is quite a lot of Doctor Who news to go through. This is going to be a smattering of news and uh, 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 rumours, I think. So this is, I think, the biggest story. Joe Martin, Sasha Dewan, confirmed for Big Finish sp uh, spin-offs, Doctor Who spin-offs at Big Finish. So the question is, and this is going to be the question on the thumbnail, can the Chibnall era make it through a paywall, right? Can they do that? So I would say, unlikely... Unlikely with Jodie Whittaker and Mandit Gill. With Jodie Whittaker. Basically, Jodie Whittaker or Mandit Gill. I, I think it's unlikely. I don't think they'll have much of it. Maybe. I, I don't know, right? I genuinely don't know. Uh, this pair, like the, the Fugitive Doctor and uh, Sasha Wan's Master, I see, uh, may well be viable, right? Because here's the thing. I think most fans really want to like Doctor Who, right? We really, really want to like it. And I really wanted to like this era as well. I really don't. I just, you know, the way I look at it is the way I look at it. And I feel it's really the opposite of Doctor Who. I think it's a real a real evil uh, uh, perversion of Doctor Who. And again, I, I, if you're watching this, I think you probably think the same. So uh, uh, for me, no, you know, no, it's, a, it's a strong no. By the time these came in, these guys came in, it was a strong no. Uh, but yeah, I, st I see there being... Enough, it, well, is there enough fandom to buy? I don't know. I don't know. And the thing is, we're not going to know either. They're recording uh, two box set sheets. Well, we're going to read the story in a minute. Uh, uh, but yeah, like, it did, uh, was it the 8th of March do well? I don't know. They, they did one and then missed a year and then did another. Uh, yeah, also, you know, the first of things always sell well. So that's what I was like, Nick Briggs, uh, Nick Briggs said. It's being produced by Dominic Martin, who, uh, real fan, real bona fide fan. Uh, I, I, and here's the thing. I, yeah, I do think fans will want to like Doctor Who. And I think, I, and I don't think it's, uh, and also, you know, they, we have this cultural divide and, and I, we've really developed tribalism. I, I, did, I was thinking, when did we develop tribalism? I think it's probably around the election of Barack Obama. Right. Because we had I remember there being all these anti-war protests around George W. Bush. You know, he's uh, 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 invading Iraq, weapons of mass destruction, blah, blah, blah. And then Obama comes in. 
And the like, first thing he does, he ends up uh, uh, doing an extrajudicial killing of a U.S. citizen. <laughs> like he, he starts uh, uh, droning, uh, drone bombing uh, uh, these uh, uh, civilian targets uh, without a care in the world. And all of a sudden, that's okay, right? That's okay. And I think that's when tribalism really, really kicked in. When when uh, the same thing can happen, and it, it, we have a different approach depending on who does it. Like, hey, Obama does it, must be good. But George Bush does it, must be bad, right? I mean, listen, in all fairness, uh, if you want to tell me when Ju if George Bush does something and Barack Obama does something, it must be bad, I'm not going to argue with you. Yeah, you want to throw Boris Johnson and Jeremy Corbyn in? I'm fine with that. I honestly think, you know, uh, uh, politicians, generally speaking, are the lowest level scum in the universe. <laughs> uh, I, 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 does anybody think differently? This which is kind of weird. Why do politicians try to pretend to be moral? We know you're not. It's like it's like Hollywood when they uh, were all surprised about Me Too. Said, really? There's a cast of cast? We all knew, okay? Everybody knew, okay? Nobody, no one's shocked by this. Fine, so let's read this story. Joe Bonner, Session 1, confirmed for Doctor Who big uh, spin-offs at Big Finish. The Fugitive Doctor and the Master will each, uh, each front their own series. The current era of Doctor Who may be coming to end on television, but it's set to live on in a new set of adventures from Big Finish. And the other question is, is this going to hurt Big Finish overall sales? I'm going to say no. My guess is no. Uh, um, and if it does, it's going to do it in a very minor way. I understand. I really don't like uh, 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 that they're legitimizing this era, right? It really kind of irritates me. As again, probably, uh, probably you too. But you know, look, people are allowed to enjoy what they whatever they want, right? If they enjoy it, they enjoy it. I, 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 you know, I just think when we get out this insane age that we're in right now, and we all know we're in this insane age, right? We get out this insane age we're in now. Uh, um, people are just going to be kind of embarrassed and looking back. I, I mean, unless we don't get out of it and we end up like China, right? We end up looking like yeah, looking back at this cultural revolution at China from the Chinese perspective, where it was like, oh yes, those sixty million people killed. That was awesome. Um, Fine. So the producers of, big, uh, of audio drama sp uh, spin-off from BBC TV series have today, uh, April 23rd, confirmed new spin-off series starring Joe Martin as the future Doctor and Sasha Dewan as the Master. Now, I didn't like Sasha Dewan's take on the Master. He seemed to be kind of like a bonkers meddling monk to me. More than the Master. There was, a, there was no, like, scheming Machiavellianish uh, 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 of him whatsoever. Uh, uh, just, like, just being bonkers, generally speaking. Uh, um, but I liked his enthusiasm. I, I really liked that he was very enthusiastic about it, which nobody else was on screen, right? Nobody, including Joe Martin, even though much better than Jodie Whittaker. But, yeah, that's not really saying much, is it? I mean, honestly... I mean, when you get Sue Pollard and she'll be better than Jodie Whittaker, it's not, it's not going to be tricky. Um, so, where were we? Uh, the Doctor and Sasha Wild Master. Uh, Martin's character, first introduced in 2020, uh, Doctor Who episode, Fugitive of the Jadoon, as previously seen, uh, as a previously unseen incarnation of the Doctor from early in the character's timeline. Well, we don't know that. That's the thing. We don't know that. We've hinted that. We've intimated that. But... Uh, 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 we know that less than we know the Morbius Doctors are real, which we don't know either, because they're not. They're not. Um, uh, okay, so we'll front. The Fusion of Doctor, uh, Doctor Avengers. Six full-cast audio dramas uh, to be released across two box sets. I, I, it seems... Um, is this a sound financial decision? It seems a rather dodgy financial uh, uh, proposition to me. But I, again, listen... I don't mind being wrong, right? I, I, and we're never really going to know if it sells well. But I, I, will we see more? I, I'm doubting it, right? You know, the things that sell well, you get a lot of. The Derek Jacobi Warmaster, they're up to, what, the eighth, ninth set? Jake on Lightfoot, they did, what, 13 series? Uh, if, they, if this goes, you know, uh, four or five series, then it's done well, right? It's done well. Uh, um, but I... You know, I don't see the the Paternoster gang. Did they only did like two series? I think it might be like that, right? I think it might well be like that. Uh, wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> Big Finish do amazing work. They're a vital part of fandom, said Martin. How would she know? Uh, I can't wait to see what stories they got for the Fugitive Doctor. Well, I imagine... Well, here's the thing. Why don't they get all the people who I'm... Uh, uh, not so charitably calling Diversity Highs to write this. I mean, uh, honestly, I've always said that that... Why can't Big Finish just put a woke label on their box sets and go, oh, no, stay away from that? But I think they're trying to make it a little bit more obvious now, right? I think they're trying to make it a little bit... I mean, 
quite obviously the the Colin Baker uh, uh, set coming up with the um, wheelchair bound compa- uh, wheelchair bound companion. That's probably going to be well. You can normally tell, right? You can normally tell. And they have a bunch of like I would say subpar writers. They bought in mainly because they're women. Uh, who was it? Uh, Gemma Arrowsmith. She should write one. Uh, uh, Li- uh, Lizzie Hopley. Yeah, I, I think they. You should do that and, and see how it goes. I, I, will it will it work out? I really don't know. But it's it's not a cheap investment for them either of these. I mean, they're both uh, 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 quite quite successful actors, and I think I mean such one not more, more obviously, but. Um, uh, you know, I, I you question who's going to be writing them. I do hope they're not going to get put good talent onto this, right? I hope they're going to put. I hope they're going to put like their normal stranded esque dross onto this. That 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 that's my my uh my. And again, it's stranded. You could tell that was going to be woke. They kind of put a woke sticker on that, so it's fair enough, really. I mean, it, it, this is it, you know what? If you want to go for the woke Doctor Who, the Chibnall Doctor, Who, this is a great conduit to do it in. Do it do it over here in these series that make real Doctor Who for people who. Like Doctor Who, uh, and if you like this Doctor Who, I apologise. Okay, I'm being a bit of a dick, but that's just me for you. Really, are you surprised I'm being a bit of a dick? Are you surprised by that? I, you shouldn't be. You shouldn't be. Uh, Big Finish Chairman Jason Haygetter, he said, "I first met Joe Martin as uh, at a Doctor Who convention in February of last year. We were wild, uh, uh, where she wowed the crowds with her enthusiasm of the program and the role of the future of Doctor. Her excitement was palpable. I did, I never picked up on that when I saw her being interviewed. Right, I've never like, oh yeah, she's up for all of this. Uh, it just never seemed that way to me." Excitement was palpable. Joe obviously loves the role, and we're excited to create new adventures as a star. And as the future doctor herself once said, "You're gonna love this." I just, <laughs> I'm so not buying this. Okay, I am so not buying this series. I mean, I don't know. Maybe who who would have to write and produce this be in it for me to want to buy it? Uh, I don't know, Alan Moore. Okay, if Alan Moore's writing it, I might win. I, I might, I might, uh, well, not win, I might, uh, 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 what's the word? Wayne. I might Wayne, right? I might, I, I might have a bit of a wobble. Alan Moore's not going to be writing this. <laughs> if Ross C. Davis writes it, I don't think I'll be interested either, frankly. Uh, producer David Richardson added, what a privilege to be producing the Fugitive Doctor Adventures. The whole, uh, there's a whole area to explore in these stories that follow the Fugitive uh, follow on from Future of the Dadoon, and I can't wait to start uh, to work with the gloriously talented and charismatic Joe Martin. Again, I'm not saying she's not charismatic. She just didn't really seem that way to me, right? Doesn't seem overly charismatic. Uh, story details, writers, and additional guest stars will be announced in the near future. They don't even have a release date for these yet, right? I, uh, and, and yeah, it also le- leads on to the obvious question. How, what's it? How's this going to sit with the Rusty Davis Doc 2? Does this mean Rusty Davis will not be retconning this away? I don't think so, right? I, uh, 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 I don't. Uh, I don't think it means that, right? I don't think it means that. It could mean that, but I really think the vibe I got from Chris Chibnall was that Rusty Davis is retconning everything out of existence. Maybe. Who knows? Or dares to dream. Uh, meanwhile, Dewan's incarnation of the Mar- of the Doctor's oldest enemy, uh, who debuted in twenty twenty Spy Fall, also appeared in, uh, will also appear in his own series. Call me Must Master, right? He's very very uh, particular that he's called Master, not Master, uh, which will again be comprised of six inches of the two box sets. I actually adore working the fantastic team of Big Finish. Said Dewan, I-, I can imagine. Listen, they they seem like a great b- bunch of people to work with. And if you invested your time and you pl- created these characters, yeah, I mean, like, I, I mean, do you really think Joe Martin and Sasha won't know how bad this era of Doctor Who is? I, I, I really don't, right? I, I think, you know, Mark Gattis does. I think Stephen Moffat does. I, I don't, I doubt Sasha Dewan does. So when you asked me to play the Master in his own series, it was an offer I could have refused. The Master is such a joy to play on so many levels. I, well, really, I wish you played him more like the Master. I can't wait to see what he's uh, what he's going to be getting up to without the Doctor around to hold him back. Uh, hold on to your seats, folks. Jason Hay Gallery added, Sasha Wan is already part of the Big Finish family, having guest starred in the in Doctor Who and Torchwood uh, drama since 2014. Uh, which one's he been in? I really don't know. Uh, Dewan's enthusiasm for the Master. That's true. No snow bounds. That is very true, right? And I, I have a lot of appreciation for that, right? I really am. I am I, in the time when, when Doctor Who was awful, was the worst this ever, uh, uh, I really appreciate them uh, 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 having somebody excited by it, right? I really appreciate having somebody excited by it. Um, 
So we're, we're, uh, we are so excited to be working with him. He's a world-class actor. I mean, in all fairness. And his rather unhinged uh, uh, alter ego at Big Fit is, it's going to be a hell of a ride uh, that I'm not going to be on. Uh, producer Heather Challens says, Sasha's master was iconic from the moment he revealed himself to the audience. He might have been if it wasn't with Jodie Whittaker. I, I mean... I don't know. I don't know. Would he, would he been better under a different showrunner? Probably. Would he have been cast under a different showrunner? Could be. I mean, they made such a big deal about him being slightly browner, right? <laughs> That's really it's like marginally slightly browner than other masters. Sort of. Delgado Master looked very Turkish. Look, he looked kind of... His skin tone looked the same, but I, I know. It's a weird world where this is all we really think about, skin tone. Uh, Sad one was from the moment where he revealed himself. Whoa, <laughs> you want to you want to put that away, mate? Uh, his performance uh, uh, has such charisma and such madness uh, he can turn on dime. I'm beyond thrilled and honoured to be uh, be the producer that gets to bring this occasion uh, incarnation of the master big finish. It's going to be uh, excuse me. It's going to be um, very fun getting to peel back the layers and find out uh, what makes this master tick. Uh, yeah, see, see, these are the two sets I think really stand the best bet of be, being able to break even and make into, make into a third box set. But will it, though? Here's the thing. Really, will it? How, I don't know how many they need to sell. It'll be intriguing. But they, they, generally speaking, I found the demographic that really likes this era is also a demographic that doesn't have any money. It won't buy anything if they did. I mean, maybe they'll just get a lot of pirating going. If all that wasn't exciting enough, Big Finish says Teens the Future Doctor mentions and Call Me Master are just the first in a range of spin offs from the 13th Doctor era uh, of Doctor Who with more series to follow. <laughs> ah, ah, okay! Oh, okay! I mean, on, didn't we say this a couple of years ago? Said, oh, yeah, you want to make more BBC? Go ahead. Let's see what happens. And we saw what happens. Utter, utter, complete failure, right? That is what happens. Utter, utter. Complete failure. Fine. Uh, uh, speaking of other complete failure, let's move on. Next story. Next story. Actually, if you notice a little cut there, uh, that was good news for me. That was my, that was the uh, computer people phoning me, telling me that that my new computer is being delivered by Tuesday at the latest. Oh, I'm holding my breath, mate. Holding my breath. Fine. Next story. Next story. Uh, Tenant calls 14th Doctor rumours a weird idea. Won't confirm or deny. So let's hear what he's going to say. It is a weird idea, and he won't confirm or deny. That is indeed correct. Uh, David Tennant has finally responded to the rumours of a return of the uh, of Doctor Who as the 14th Doctor. Again, it was a weird rumour, but, you know, anything could be on the bloody table. Right, literally anything could be on the table, and I wouldn't be surprised by anything right now. Uh, when quiz on the subject in, at the German Comic Con gets about a bit, uh, this weekend he responded, I've been asked a version of this question for the last 20 years. Really? No. When did he quit? When did he stop being the doctor? He, okay, he took over in 2006. I mean, I guess we saw him on Christmas 2005. 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009, right? It, it, it's not 20 years. It's, uh, uh, what, 20, uh, 13 years? Okay, no, it's not 20 years at all. Um, so there's no point in me... Uh, uh, I've been asking about 20 years. I've learned that uh, through better experience that there's not uh, any point in uh, in even answering it because whatever I say is spun by whoever wants to hear it. It's, that's really true, right? I mean, it, you, yeah, I can... That's not... Uh, um, bullcrap, right? I think he's he's actually making a, a, a decent point. So, uh, so there's no point in me denying it. There's no point in me confirming it. There's no point in me fudging it. Whatever I say will be whatever the internet wants wants it to be. I, again, very credible. Or he's lying, right? Do you know? Or, or he's telling the truth. And, and, and he's a 14th doctor. I don't know. I don't know. He has. I mean, it would be quite a weird idea. It's not something you'll necessarily expect from Doctor Who. So I'm not going to try and give you more than that. Because what's the point? Uh, yeah, okay. Absolutely, absolutely. Will he be the, I, well, we don't know. We don't know. I, 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 honestly, I'd be surprised if we know anything before uh, uh, before the, the Chibnall era ends. <laughs> yeah, as a you know, with the uh, 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 big finish stuff. Not notwithstanding, it's a sin star denies that she's the next Doctor Who, despite being the favourite for the role. Thank God, I'm really happy about that. Right, I am really genuinely happy about that. I've nothing against her. I think she's a fine actress. Uh, I, I just don't think she's right for the role uh, uh, in any way, really. I mean, like, 
it, it's not about being a woman. It's about, uh, I just think she doesn't have that metal for the role, which I don't think Jodie Whittaker had either, quite frankly. Uh, over at Bleeding Call, Bleeding Call is always a fun place to look at, isn't it? <laughs> it is time for Rusty Davis to go full regeneration on Doctor Who. But wait a minute, you said it was the bestest ever. Do you remember? You kept telling us it is the bestest ever and anybody who doesn't like it is a backward lo uh, looking Luddite. Don't you remember that? Uh, uh, what? It was only last week. Um, when you all like really get your 2.2 million overnight. Uh, oh, we still haven't got the uh, uh, the seven day rating yet. Uh, Doctor Who was of a kind of finale this autumn with showrunner Chris Chibnall and Jodie Whittaker, uh, Jodie Whittaker's final special. And we're using the word special in the loosest way humanly possible, right? Loosest way possible. For uh, for a show, it's a cycle. Uh, one ends, another one begins. A new showrunner uh, brings in a new Doctor Who. It's the same show, yet new. Yeah, we, we've been here before, mate. We've been here before. Rusty Davis will take over and uh, remake it according to his own agenda. Wait a minute. You said there was no agenda. I remember that. You said anybody said there was agenda is an icky wicky liar. I remember that. Don't you remember that? I remember that. Uh, Rusty Davis will take over and remake important to Jed. How much would he change the show is anybody's guess. It seems to be Chris Chibnall's guess is completely, right? Change it completely into something that resembles Doctor Who, right? Wouldn't that, wouldn't that be a weird choice, right? Oh, why don't we make Doctor Who like Doctor Who? Well, I've got another idea. Why don't we make Star Trek like Star Trek? Hey, do you want to go crazy? Absolutely crazy. Make Star Wars like Star Wars. Have you seen the Star Wars Hotel? Nobody has, because nobody's going to it. It's too expensive, and it doesn't look like Star Wars. Uh, uh, but then again, you know, look, the, the big finish of putting a lot less capital into... Uh, uh, Jodie uh, Jody era box sets and Disney put into uh, uh, prequel trilogy <laughs> no sequel trilogy uh, uh, stuff and, and it's really not working out very well is it uh, how much will it maybe the best course will be start from scratch and by that we mean cut all the past continuity and start at square one again this is a popular idea about what, what they think is going to happen right this is a very generally speaking very popular idea uh, uh, and I can totally see see this being because uh, honestly, I just thought the damage to Doctor Who has been so massive, right? So breathtakingly massive. Uh, 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 <laughs> where'd you go? Like, what? what I, I, yeah, how do you fix this? How do you fix it? I, again, I think it's fixable, but I do think the uh, uh, I think they need to completely reboot and and like cleanse the public's palate, right? Uh, uh, of this turgid, turgid Doctor Who. The show already has a high concept pitch that works. A mysterious time traveller and an old uh, an old school British police box. Nobody knows what the police box is. Uh, who can go anywhere in space and time and right wrongs. It's, no. That, that, okay, that is not the pitch that worked with jo that was Jodie Whittaker's era. Bumbling fool kidnaps people and becomes a lesbian. I, I, I think that's much more the high concept pitch. Uh, in six years, it picked up a lot of baggage. Way too much. The Doctor has a home planet, Gallifrey. It's full of old duffers that have been... Uh, uh, full of old duffers. There have been many companions who have travelled with the Doctor. There have been many aliens and enemies. They keep coming back. Well, you know, I, I mean... Uh, 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 you know, they keep coming back because uh, uh, um, people like them, right? They keep coming back because people like them. Uh, 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 familiarity bleep bees content? Not really. We kind of like it, right? I kind of like uh, Doctor Who. Uh, things get old. As Davis said over 10 years ago about the cancellation of the show back in 89, it got old. People got tired. Uh, only the most diehard fans stayed. Uh, not enough to keep up the ratings. Could be talking about 2022 as well, couldn't he? When Davis revived, uh, when David revived, when David revived the series in two in 2005, he was cautious. He wouldn't say if it was a reboot or ke or it kept his continuity. He was keeping his options open, but I think he's doing something much more radical this time round, right? I think he's got a, uh, uh, and I think, don't think radical in a scary way. I think he's doing something much more radical. Uh, uh, in like reinventing television sort of way, right? I, I, that's what I really think is going on, uh, which is quite exciting because television is ready to be reinvented. I mean, honestly, there's so many like just dated things that don't work anymore, like panel shows, right? They just don't work. And think, like, why? Because YouTube has taken over and they do it much better because they do it honestly without having to please advertisers and the gen. Having said that, I, I, I have just been kicked off YouTube for the week. So, you know, so, you know, it's not, it's not all plain sailing. 
Uh, he needed to sell the show to a whole generation of kids who had never heard of it. Previous tents by other producers throughout the 90s fell because they uh, they kept all the continuity of the show. Not really. I mean, like, they kept bits of it. Um, yeah, yeah like, like, they kept... they kept, uh, But they also, they changed it up a bit. I mean, I guess the McGann one was a little bit continuity heavy, right? I guess they, they really should have filled that in slowly. But it was the 90s. It was 90s storytelling. Uh... He needs to sell the show. Uh, oh no, previous attempts by doing it in the 90s failed because they kept the continuity, making it inaccessible to newcomers. I disagree. That McGann movie was very accessible to newcomers, right? It was very, and it was great. It was really a lot of fun. Davis was is a big fan of the classic sh show and its baggage as most hard, uh, most hardcore, but he has realized that the show had to be comprehensible to anybody watching a an episode for the first time. Yes. But I don't think people are going to be watching episodes. Like I, I think they're looking more at different forms of media to uh, uh, promote and display. I mean, maybe they have like a side story that only goes on social media. That he was very inventive in the in the first run, right? He really used technology. I love the uh, 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 the podcast, right? The, the the director's commentary or the Rusty Davis commentary podcast. They were wonderful. They were absolutely, and we had so much fun. We had like the interactive story. He's always seen very inventive, which is why I'm excited, right? And because I think this is a rebirth of but I think this is we're looking at a rebirth of television in general. Uh, he dropped little, little hints uh, that the show was still in continuity, but waited till his third season to even bring up Gallifrey. Second season was a lot more. I mean, second season he kind of worked out seventy percent new, thirty percent old because people really responded to the classic elements they brought up. Uh, he cleared up the baggage of the Doctor's backstory and the home planet by destroying the planet in a behind-the-scenes war so that Doctor was the last of the Time Lords. By the time he left four years later, he had built up a new continuity of own enemies, recurring characters he created uh, he, to tell his own story. When Steve Moffat took over from Davis, he brought back Gallifrey. I mean, I kind of like the general rebooting uh, uh, each time, right? The general rebooting uh, uh, of, um, of lore each time. I just like it to be you know somewhat recognizable in law right uh christian will turn up the uh the show's continuity to a crutch uh crutch over uh into a it turned yeah turn the show's continuity the crutch to cover over the lack of ideas or surprises um yes i would say the lack of quality i i'm i'm doing deep dive review reviews of his first season right now and the quality of writing is just so shockingly awful, right? It's just so shockingly awful. Why? Because they they think they're being, you know, they're they're making history. They're re-educating, uh, re-educating the horribly bigoted British public into being accepting and forward-looking. That that's I know it sounds stupid, but that's really a hundred percent what they believe. They're re-educating the British public into being forward-looking, right? It was. Uh, uh, breathtakingly stupid right it was breathtakingly stupid um uh uh, uh there we go um like last night doctor had become old and creaky again in the space of two years actually in the space of one year right it would the first season really killed it second season more so uh okay, well, okay he just had to make gallifrey part of everything again uh, uh um he uh he just had to make gallifrey was the big problem that hardcore fans refused to let go of gallifrey has always been the most boring part of doctor i disagree i disagree i mean i think when they reinvented it the deadly assassin was awesome absolutely awesome big finish did a really good fourth doctor story called oh what was it but it was set around gallifrey i really liked that one uh, the Doctor people were originally mysterious, unknowable until uh, writer Robert Holmes wrote them as a science fiction satire and combined uh, bureaucracy of the British government with the snuffiness of old professors uh, in Oxford University. And also, it was a lot to do with like uh, the CIA and things like that. And they literally called it the CIA. Six years worth of continuity may be more trouble than it's worth. Um, yes, but it gives you a lot. But uh, uh, you know, I can't, I, I can't, can't really argue with this, uh, with this this point of view. A mysterious traveler who travels through space and time and has a secret knowledge of the universe, who whisks, uh, uh, whisks an ordinary person on time and um, travels with them. That's really, that's all we really need. Maybe Davis will take the show back to that. Very good chance, right? Very, very, very good chance he could take the show right back to that, right? I, I, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, but why? 
Why do they need to do that? Because Chris Chibnall essentially destroyed it by being a, a, a worthless, useless hack of a writer. I mean, really, to take something as incredibly popular and successful as Doctor Who uh, at its height, right? At its absolute height, and then uh, uh, crush it, right? Crush it. I guess that, that yeah. Well, you know, I think you've got to blame Common Purpose, but uh, who, were, who were very big in the BBC. But, you know, can't argue. Cannot argue that this is... Uh, uh, not not the bestest of things to happen, right? Cannot argue at all. Uh, 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 um, but, you know, Rusty Davis coming back, I could argue is one of the best things to happen. We have to wait and see, right? We have to wait and see. Uh, uh, time indeed will tell. My name is Cena back in, the rabbi from another planet. Please, can you subscribe? That'd be awesome. Please, can you share? Even more awesome. Please, can you like? Very, very, very awesome. Uh, uh, sign up my Substack. Sign up to uh, uh, my paid Substack. Uh, why? Because I, I want some money. Basically, I want money. Uh, uh, I have to buy a new computer. Uh, uh, and they just they just charge me for it. Oh, it's expensive, but you know what? This they're, they're, they're throwing in th uh, free delivery. Yeah, that that'll do the trick. My name is Ethan Beck and the Rabbit from Another Planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. Yeah!